here we are with Danmachi season four, episode four. And yeah, last episode we explored more of the Great Falls. We encountered the Moss Monster again. They went into a fight. They got Bell got separated from the others, and then they decided, okay, we have to go back to the surface, and Bell has to be fine on his own because we can't go looking for him because we have too many injured people with us right now. So we have to go back to the surface. And yeah, Bell is now further down. I think it should be floor 27. I think they said if you fall from 25, you go down to 27, I think. <clears throat> and then he encountered those weird birds that are like super fast and they fucked him up a bit and he fucked them up a lot. <laughs> and then we saw a mermaid. So I guess that will be interesting to see what's the deal with the mermaid now. And yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or a comment. Let me know what you think about this episode. And I would say let's get to the episode. Okay, here we are with the birds again. Exactly, dude. <laughs> oh my god, Bell. The champ is here. <laughs> oh, she's behind him. She can talk. Can she maybe heal? Coming in hot or wet. Who's Reagan and Rido? I guess some Xenos? Does it have healing values? <laughs> oh my god, swallow it! This reminds me of the potato scene from Attack on Titan. You will survive, Aaron. <laughs> it heals. Man, he is hugging her. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I believe my my microphone is my microphone is like peeking all the way with my laugh and all every everything. Oh, Aisha! Let's go! Man, I love how much Aisha we see, really, like... I hope we, it continues like that. I hope that she's not back to the surface and then they part ways. They are lucky that they have Aisha, still. <laughs> Yeah, they would have a hard time carrying every all the elves by themselves. And they pretty much became missing adventurers themselves somewhat. 28. <clears throat> so even in the safety zone, I guess I guess the safety point is like um what was it in season one? Floor 17? Where they met Eins, uh, Ice and <clears throat> where they fought the floor boss or Gol uh, Goliath or whatever. So the thing even goes into those floors? That's bad, I would say. <laughs> if, if, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because it's like a sentient monster, basically. It's very smart, right? It chases down adventurers because it knows it has crystals and then it eats those crystals to get even stronger. So it's very smart and very strong and if that goes into one of those camps and even knows when to retreat and wait for the uh, wait for the adventurers to, to lure them into traps and stuff, that can be very dangerous. Exactly. Yeah, the Orgonaut. Argonaut with fire combined. Damn, Aisha looks so good. Yeah, 
I completely forgot she, she's limited in how often she can use it, right? That's a big bad thing about it. She can, I think, only use it like once in a while. Dude! It saves those adventurers up? What is it doing? <clears throat> I'm confused. Is it saving up those, like, like hoarding those adventurers so that they don't get away or that they don't get found? Or is it like keeping them as like rations? Like every once in a while, if it gets hungry, it eats one or something. I would maybe guess. Maybe I mean maybe not. I don't need. I don't know if monsters eat adventurers. I don't need know that. Um. So I'm confused why it's like is storing them up there. Awesome view. No, just her singing. <laughs> Again, dude. Oh, Bell. He knows what he wants. What you doing? Wow. <laughs> Bell is disappointed. I guess there aren't many places in the... Dungeon where she can swim around that freely. Oh, I feel bad that she has to stay behind. Oh, you and I will die. Okay. Man, I feel so bad for her. With a funfair? Funfar? Whatever. Oh, so it uses the monsters to attack them, maybe. So that it has maybe an easier time to attack when they are overwhelmed by monsters. That's a lot of crap. <laughs> and there it is. So, did it kill a big one to command them all? I have no time to die, I have to become a hero and get to ice. What the hell? What's happening? Oh. <clears throat> so it was like a Sona? So it was a scream of a different monster that heard her voice scream basically to tell her what's up? But can Belle really make it up in time? Because they must be like way a few floors up, right? So she has a useful spell that I guess I should teach her. Oh, <laughs> and done. And that's what wealth is not liking about magic weapons. When you need them the most, they can break. I guess they can't make it without Bell, so he just makes it up in time. I guess. A fucking whale. All the crystals, dude. Is he eating them? Nom. Nom. <laughs> Getting stronger and stronger while the others are fighting. And all these mosquitoes, dude. I hate mosquitoes. Because every summer they come... Oh! Aisha! Every summer I get, like, stung a lot by mosquitoes. I hate it. Ooh. <laughs> of course he he helped him <laughs> especially from this guy 
A big boulder? A spike boulder? Oh, it's a monster. An urchin. Dude, this moss hug is trying everything it can to fuck us up. The weapon better is good and durable. Yo, can she use gravity to like put it into the ground with the spikes? Wow. Why even be afraid if you have a move like that? Is it a heal? Yep. AoE heal. Very handy. Damn, the magic weapons in this episode. So useful. <laughs> Man, I would really hope that maybe Aisha went from Hermes family to Hestia's family, that she's all around all the time. And there's a whale thing. Aqua Serpent. <laughs> he just runs up the walls again. <laughs> She's just having a good time. <laughs> oh, fried crab. The Mossack? No, they just bought crabs out of the wall. Dude, how many crabs are there? And the Mossack is controlling them all or what? Pass parade, monster party. Oh, here he comes. Or oh, here she comes, not he. <laughs> what are they doing? Mass level up. Level ups for everyone. <laughs> that would be crazy. But I don't think so. So what is it? It must be something crazy. If Aisha wants no one to talk about it. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> of course, man! Oh. Okay, <laughs> what an episode. Um, let me know what you think about this episode. But I would say... Overall, a pretty good episode, I would say. Had a lot of funny moments <laughs> with Belle and the Mermaid. Very funny. Um, and then many characters got to show off. Like uh, the girl that has her dreams all the time. I don't know her name. Um, she could show off a little bit with her AoE heal. Makes her more valuable, I would say. Um, because it comes in pretty handy if you have an AoE heal, I would say. right? And then... <clears throat> We saw lots of magic weapons with electricity, fire, like, I, it looked like some, one weapon had blue electricity, or maybe it was, it looked like blue electricity, and then we had, like, another weapon that had, like, yellow electricity, it seemed like, so, very interesting, it, but it showed again, like, what wealth is not liking about magical weapons, that it's, like, they can fail you when you need them the most, because you use it one time and then, bam, broken, right, when you could use it when he could really need it to be used more often, right? Because there are so many monsters, so if he could use it more often, that would be really handy right now, but then, bam, break. Um, and also Aisha shows off again. <laughs> Man, I love Aisha, she's so good. Um, but she also says, okay, this party is not reliant on me. They can do stuff by themselves and don't need me. Um, so she has to give them some credit and respect for that. Uh, because she only thought that maybe the party would only be good with Belle. Um, which makes me still hope that Aisha sees them now in high regards, right? That maybe she switches from Hermes family to Hestia family maybe at some point. That's something that I would really like. Because, like I said multiple times now, I love Aisha. 
She's all she's awesome. She's amazing. She's badass, and I feel like she would fit in so good with the Hestia family, um, because she holds because she holds Bell in high regards, and now she holds the others also in high regards, and I just feel like she fits in pretty well. So I was disappointed when she went to the Hermes family and not to the Hestia family in the last season. Um, but yeah, so maybe with this, maybe now that she sees it, maybe in high regards, maybe she will switch at some point, hopefully. But I would think not. Because I think you can't just randomly switch families left and right, right? The family has to be more like disbanded before you can switch, right? I mean, not necessarily. I mean, Wealth switched uh, switched families, and Mikoto switched families. So, no, I think she could, maybe, but I guess she probably won't. But, okay. Um, and, yeah, the Mosshawk, still, like, very confused about it. Like, why it's, uh, why it is, why it is storaging humans? Maybe to keep them out of the sight of other adventurers that no one finds them? Or maybe to feed on them? I don't know if monsters eat humans. To get stronger, maybe, or something, I don't know. Um, and yeah, the Morsock is, like, very tactical and a really big pain in the ass, trying everything it can to be a big bother by, like, starting a mass a pass parade, and then I guess maybe it also is a reason why there is now an outbreak going on where all the things come out of the walls and stuff, and now we have Haruhime, um, doing a spell that I guess Aisha teached her, which is very interesting because it must be something good if Aisha teach, uh, teach it to her, right? And if Aisha is, like, threatening the others and is like, you don't tell anyone about this, right? Um, so it must be something really crazy that it's, that it's, that no one else should know. <clears throat> Maybe because it's just too crazy that it, if it gets the attention of others, it could maybe endanger them that they more maybe go after Haruhime to get her out of the way because it's too dangerous for some people, or maybe some people would like to capture her then because it's like would be really valuable in other families, and so they try to capture her to get it on their side maybe because she got captured kind of already, like in the Ishta family when she got like controlled for her stuff, right? Um, so can't wait to see that what her big spell is now that is supposed to be so good that it's that it's supposed to be kept a secret um but yeah great episode i would say really good very refreshing like with all the humor and stuff and everyone not everyone but quite a few characters got to show off um and next episode we will see what haruhime has to offer but yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you thought about this episode and i would say thanks for watching until next time Bye bye